Last week, we estimated that even after selling players like Ian Martson and Amari Hutchinson, Chelsea could still be as much as 66 million short of meeting the Premier League's profit and sustainability thresholds. Now, new financial records suggest the Blues may have discovered a new loophole to avoid breaching PSR rules, and it may be their boldest move yet. Tony, we know what this is like. We're the team that have done it year on year, grind and grind and grind. Greg Cordell first reported on new filings at Company's House, revealing that Chelsea Football Club Women Limited, the legal entity that operates the Chelsea women's teams, has changed hands. On the 28th of June 2024, just two days before the end of the financial year and the PSR deadline, control of the women's team shifted from Chelsea FC Holdings Limited to parent company Blueco 22 Midco Limited. The timing of this transfer raises questions. Why make such a significant move so close to the financial year end? To understand this better, let's look at what Chelsea announced on May 29th as part of their strategic growth plan. Chelsea women will be repositioned so that it sits alongside, rather than beneath, the men's team. The club also revealed they had engaged BDT and MSD Partners, a merchant bank, to advise on a potential minority investment. Reports suggested Chelsea were seeking capital to invest in infrastructure and the team's promotion, with at least two offers received but not accepted. While external investment is yet to materialise, internal restructuring is clearly underway. Greg Cordell has compiled the club's organisation structure and, if we zoom in, it shows that before June the 28th, Chelsea FC women were fully owned by Chelsea FC Holdings Limited, which in turn is owned by Blueco 22 Midco Limited. This transfer of ownership effectively repositions the women's team to sit alongside the men's within the Blueco organisation. But another benefit? This move allows Chelsea FC Holdings to recognise a profit from selling the women's team to its parent company, potentially helping them avoid breaching PSR. Sure, yeah, very happy. This isn't the first time Chelsea have dabbled in intra-group trading. Back in 2023, Chelsea FC Holdings sold two hotels to sister company Blueco 22 Properties Limited booking 76.5 million in extra profits to stay within PSR limits. A year on, Chelsea appeared to have deployed a similar tactic. But how much profit could they book this time? Reports say Chelsea value the women's team at around £160 million, but any transfer will need to meet the Premier League's fair market value assessment and associated party transaction rules. It will also require sign-off from the club's auditors. But for context, investment in women's football have seen hefty valuations, especially in America's NWSL. The San Diego Wave sold for a record $113 million, while Angel City FC is reportedly valued between $250 and $300 million. Chelsea's recent on-field success, winning five consecutive women's Super League titles, could bolster their valuation. However, Angel City made $31 million in revenue last year, roughly £24 million. And whilst Chelsea women's revenue is growing, 2023 delivered less than nine. This discrepancy means the valuation and profit booked by Chelsea would likely face intense scrutiny, especially without a third-party transaction to validate the price. So what do you think of Chelsea's latest financial manoeuvre? Fair game or foul play? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And stay tuned to Numbers Behind the Net for all the latest in football finance news.